This morning has been a mother effing morning. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. This morning was just absolute chaos because this is what happened. Let me break down what happened to you. This morning I had an EPK, which is an electronic press kit lingo for the movie Riverdance. If you haven't heard yet, I have the honor of playing an animated character by the name of Penny in the animated film Riverdance. If you don't know what Riverdance is, I actually grew up with it because my mom watched it all the time. But it's Irish dancing that's like tap dancing kind of s. But it's epic and it's beautiful and it's amazing and they've made an animated film about the stage show. <sighs> And I played this magical deer, which is actually called a Megaloceros giganteus. It was a real animal that became extinct like thousands and thousands of years ago. All this to say, I had the EPK for that. I hadn't watched the film yet, so of course I was waiting to watch the film the night before my EPK. Why? Because I'm last minute. So then last night, I'm like, okay, play. And what does it say? This link is not working. It has expired. And I'm like... So I emailed my publicist and I'm like, oh, I'm so the team that runs this whole situation is in the UK. So I went to bed and I was like, okay, I have to wake up at 8 a.m., watch this film. I wake up at 8 a.m., they sent the new link. I was like, great, EPK is at 10, let's do it. Press play, what does it say? This link does not work. No! And I really didn't want to like BS through the EPK. I didn't want to like pretend I had seen it. That felt so inauthentic to me. So then I was like, I need the link, I need the link. All this to figure out it doesn't work on mobile devices. And that was the issue all along. Watch the film, it's absolutely beautiful, magnificent. Truly was just like close to tears watching I thought it was so great it's a way bigger role than my other animated films remember in Ice Age y'all when I literally said this Meep. remember that still more than Fahrenheit 451 but this one I actually have like a real role and I'm so excited about it so I just did that EPK we finished the director his name is David he is lovely I adore him he's also the director of Hit Pig so updates oh my god is the vlog already two minutes my bad I'm just so excited I'm also doing a film called Hit Pig where I get to play a pig and we're working on that right now too and I'm just playing all these animals like the deer, the pig, I'm just like, this is my true calling, I love it. But, enough about that. Today, y'all, is gonna be a day. My schedule is stacked. Let's strap in, hustle mode. I actually have not eaten breakfast yet, so, so actually, let's, actually, let's do that first. Unstrap in, unstrap in, unstrap in, here we go. Also, this is not on some BS. During my EPK, my publicist was like, your skin looks so good, and I'm like, keto. This always happens, when I go on keto, people start pointing out my skin. What do y'all think? I have one little situation right here, I think, otherwise. What do, we, what do we think? Oh, fancy seeing you here, sir. What a surprise. How to make a Christmas cocktail. First, pour some vodka. Then, stir. Enjoy. Mmm, festive. All right, so I just finished reviewing the vlog. I'll shout out to Taylor, by the way. Taylor and I are killing this so far. Daily vlogs are not easy to edit and also just to capture when I'm doing a bunch of stuff, and I think we're the dream team, we're killing it. So Taylor's doing a great job. Comment below if you agree. But after watching the vlog, I have two things to say. One is, are you not just so effing bored of watching me in my house talk crap? This is why I didn't want to vlog initially. This is also why I stopped vlogging, especially in the pandemic. I was like, I don't leave my house. Sometimes I walk into the backyard to change the scenery, but otherwise I'm sitting here, I'm sitting in this chair. You're telling me you enjoy this? Please comment and let me know, because I feel so guilty watching the vlog. I'm like, I'm I'm just in my house talking non effing stop. How do you like this? Second thing I will say is they may be an exception because I have my makeup done, but otherwise, yo, my face is crusty. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I think I'm so comfortable with you that I put the camera so close. You see my crooked effing teeth all the time. You see like all my pimples and dry skin. I just want to say thank you for loving me for who I am because I just watched my vlog and I was like, we're going deep here. I'm showing you my crotch when I stretch. Also, and I, you know what? Thank you for accepting me because I'm, I'm kind of gross. So I know there was some confusion Easy, Lily. I know there was some confusion about the Christmas party yesterday and what date it was because I said one day, the description said another date, the Google Doc said another date. Dates on dates on dates, so many dates that my digestive system was just like bleh. Get it? Because dates, we need dates. It is on Saturday, December 20th. You're hearing it from me. It is on the 20th at 11 a.m. PST. These are the facts. So remember how I told y'all I'm going to lean into the holidays? Like I really want to lean in the holiday spirit, the joyousness, the light. Last night I ordered a bunch of like custom things to send out custom gifts. I sent two groups of gifts out, one from Lily and one from Unicorn. An island and I got like custom boxes and stuff. It's the first time I've ever done that and I did it all myself. I don't know, I feel like gifts, if it's personally done by someone, that means a lot to me. Things like that. And maybe this is where like the Indian culture comes in where things like this are sentimentally mean something. If it's a gift, I, I wanna wrap it. I wanna like put it together. I don't care if there's 60, like I want it to be from me. Maybe my assistant could deliver it, but I don't want my other like people putting together. Even with like thank you cards, like maybe every thank you card I've ever sent, it's not me 
writing it word for word because again have y'all seen my writing but it's always my message so i'll like send audio notes saying like hey in this card please say this the words are always for me and the gifts are always for me that's just like how i like it so i'm really excited for that i'll do a vlog when all that stuff comes in but and of course it's expensive and i'm just like oh my god i'm so cheap oh my god these boxes oh my god whatever. but i'm just like yo everyone needs a little pick me up this holiday season so hopefully they get one through these gifts I just finished my writer's meeting. I love it so, so much. I was a little bit scared about having a writer's room on Zoom because I'm like, oh, the screens, the connection, the lagging, the mute, the unmute. But so far it's been great. I'm really digging all the ideas we're coming up with. But first, story time with Lily. Okay, I have an epic story to tell you. You know what, actually, I need both hands. Where my tripod at? So gay. This. A couple days ago, right, I had my NBC marketing photo shoot where I went into Universal Studios, did the photo shoot, I had some creative ideas I wanted to try out, everything was good, good, good. So, because there's like COVID and there's limited people, I feel like everything I've done thus far, I feel this additional pressure to make up for the missing bodies and be like, okay, I need to like have ideas, I need to make sure I'm on top of this, on top of this. Pure Lily style. So I had this one creative concept where I was like, you know what I would really like to do? Everyone talks about how I'm adding flavor to late night, how I'm adding something fresh. I feel like I'm adding a little spice to late night and I thought, Spice, Indian spices. Mm. If you are Desi, you know that most Indian households have this tiffin. Let me show it to you, actually. This, this thing right here. You know what's up? Oh, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Eh. Every Desi household has this. You got all your spices. This is the cayenne right here. As you can see, it's a beautiful red color, justifying why I would want it in the shot. Boom, boom, boom. This is what I'm talking about right here, baby. That's right. Indian house might not have freedom or privacy, but it will always have the different. Every household has it. So I got myself one and I thought, wouldn't it be so cool if I did a shot where like I'm throwing pepper and it's like adding a little spice to late night. And I was like, ah! I loved it, it was sick. So okay, there we are, we're on the set. This day was a little stressful for me because I couldn't find the parking, I couldn't find the place. Less bodies means less people to help and so I always feel like things are just a little bit more stressful. Hashtag COVID. So I get there and at this point in the shoot, I'm like, okay, I really need these pictures to look good. I haven't been looking good the last couple shots. My face looks stressed, I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. So I'm on this white psych, white backdrop. I'm wearing a red sweater. I have this spice tiffin. Just wait for it, wait for it, wait for the punchline. We're on this white backdrop and I think, okay, I want a color that's bold. Do I want to use Haldi, AKA turmeric? That's gonna stain all my clothes, let's not do that. So I'm like, okay. There's cayenne here. Let me pick up the cayenne. So the small little spoon, I pick up the cayenne. I'm posing, working, 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 adding a little spice. I'm dropping on the white side. Everything's great. And then I look at the pictures. I go up to the photographer and I say, let me say, well, good. Do I look, do I look good? My booty right? And he's like, your booty's not in the shot. Then I look at the pictures and I'm like, I just feel like I wasn't working it. Whether it was the angle, whether it was like you could see stress in my face, I wasn't happy with the pictures. I will completely take the L on this. I was like, I need to make these pictures good. I'm taking this upon myself. So I usually look good in pictures if my hair has a little bit of movement. They're so long and I get really stressed if it's like on my face. I feel like it's casting a shadow on me. That's why I get Renee to blow it back. So Renee always comes with like a leaf blower and a lot of my pictures like this and like this. My hair is being blown so I was like, perfect. That is what will solve everything. I literally pick up the spoonful of cayenne big spoonful of cayenne I'm about to drop it it's dropping it's dropping I'm like yo Renee hit the leaf blower I didn't give it any thought beyond that just knew combination of the pepper with my hair blowing then out of 10 a1 and what happens he hits the leaf blower <laughs> Literally two spoons worth, a heaping spoon of cayenne went straight into my face. All that happened was this. And there was silence. For like two whole minutes, there was just silence. And I just stayed like this. I cannot explain to you the 12 out of 10 pain. I closed my eyes. I felt the pepper on my, eye on my eyeballs. The burning, no words I say to you will explain the burning. I could taste it. I could smell it. I'm surprised like I wasn't pooping out hot sauce for two weeks straight. You know when Yoshi eats the fire in Mario? Yeah, and he spits out fire. That was me. <sighs> Burned more than when Mean Humble lost that stream. It feels like you're looking at Hrithik Roshan's muscles, but his muscles are in your eyeball. It's like, it's fire. The reason I was also, it was like a perfect storm. The reason I was holding the pepper away from me so that it would blow into me is because my sweater was red. So red on red, you couldn't see. So I'm like, let me put it here, the perfect angle to mosh me up. So I can't open my eyes. It's like two, three minutes, I can't open my eyes. I'm like, Ashley. Ashley leads me back into the hair and makeup room. I literally have a bottle of water. I'm like splashing my face. My eyes are blood shot red. I just like, I'm effed up. We have to redo all of my makeup. I had to put ice on my eyes. My eyes got so swollen. I had to put eye drops in my eyes. It was a bad situation, y'all. I basically made myself. I pepper sprayed myself all because I was like really want the shot to look good. Here is what I was trying to go for, okay? This right here is the moment. The moment that it happened. I'm not set up for success here. What am I thinking? 
It's my fault. I said it. I said the leaf blower. I said the pepper. It was me. I did it. I did it. It's no one's fault. It's my fault. My sinuses were so effed up that the next morning, I woke up at 7 a.m. to my nose, like, bleeding profusely. I was like, <gasps> and I think it's because, like, my sinuses were just, like, on fire. So, let this be a lesson in two things. One, sometimes I'm stupid and I shut the F up on set. Two, at least you know I'm really passionate about making sure things look good. That's the lesson. Yeah. Comment below. Have you ever been pepper sprayed or maced? It's not cute. It's not cute. <laughs> Just finished a two hour table read with my writers. I've never done that via Zoom before, so it was a really cool experience. We're back to back today. We're back, we're back to back today. Because right now we're doing our fitting for season two and the vibe is different, y'all. We're not gonna do the whole like heel suited booted. We might do a suit here and there, but we're doing casual. We're doing jeans, we're doing sweaters, we're doing hoodies, oversized vibes. Check it out. And look who's here. Oh my goodness. Prager, saw all of it's this stuff. Less. Look how cool. I know it's two and a half, one, two and a half. Oh, I'm kidding. Three and a half, sorry. How many outfits do you think we're gonna try on today? 50. Let go. Can I just say the rate at which we're moving? is We're doing like an outfit every 30 seconds. It's been like 10 minutes and I feel like we've tried on 20 outfits. Oh, I know you're busy. We're going super speed. We out here, we out here. Dream team. This is why you invest in people and have your team around you. We had an hour and a half allotted. We started at four. It's 439. 40 minutes, 50 outfits. Boom, boom. Do the math. Do the math, baby. Des and Ali killed it. This is definitely the vibe. Oversized vibe because in season one, even though I love power suits, there's so many times where I was like, my boob button is popping. Like my blouse is coming out. I'm dancing and the suit is restricting me. And I just want zero restrictions. I want to be free to move, free to while out. I'm wearing straight sweatpants for some of these episodes. I wouldn't have it any other way. And on top of that, I want my guests to come and be like, oh, we can chill on the show. We can also wear sweats. That's, that's the vibes. Vibes. Also, in case you all are wondering, why is Lee not wearing a mask around other people? So I get tested so frequently with NBC for this purpose because I do camera tests and I do stuff where my face can't be covered. So I get tested all the damn time, especially if we're like shooting anything. Obviously, I'm not wearing a mask. Everyone else is. So that's precaution. Everyone else wears a mask. Everyone else gets tested in accordance to how long they're near me and how close they are to me. And I get tested like one million times to ensure everyone's safe. So we out here. We keep it safe. I also don't leave my house. You, you see. You see. Double if you're wondering if you're anywhere in the world. So LA is back at stay at home order, kind of like a lockdown. Restaurants are open for takeout. You can't dine in though. I think stores are still open and stuff like that. Essential businesses are still open. So in LA, TV and film are considered essential business, which is why I'm still doing fitting, still doing location scouting, all that's essential business. I'm curious, where do you live and what are the lockdown rules? Comment below, cause I'm so curious. My family in Toronto is always like, how are you doing things? And they're so, mind blown that TV and film are essential businesses, but it is, it's Hollywood, everyone here does that. The whole city would extremely shut down if we didn't, so. Just in case you're wondering, no one has ever been happier about me having an elevator more than my wardrobe team. All this stuff they gotta carry, All how happy are you guys that there's an elevator? Like how, on a scale of one to 10, what's the happiness level? 12. 12. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Yeah, you, 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 like, champions. like every once in a while, no big deal, the elevator gets stuck, but like it's minor details, you guys will be fine. <sighs> Today's been one of those days where I'm so busy, I forget to eat and I don't don't even notice because I don't feel hunger because I just I just feel busyness. That's all I feel. I haven't even had my salad today, but I have my salad. But not only am I gonna have the salad. Check this out. You know what this is? Mashed potatoes. You might be wondering how? 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 Potatoes aren't keto. Cauliflower mashed potato. Blend up some cauliflower that's boiled. If I put some butter in that ish, and put some garlic in that ish, uh, buttermilk in that ish. There you go. Cauliflower mash. We out. Yo, am I a chef? DIY. Effin chef. Also, Lauren sent a reaction to my DIY project yesterday. That's gonna be in tomorrow's vlog or maybe the day after one of those vlogs. So stay tuned for that. I'm having so much fun. Blah. Mother effin must for your face. Thank you so much for joining me. Yo, we back at it tomorrow. Why? Every day. Up until Christmas.